Hi everyone, it's Priscilla with Cacti on White and welcome to my channel. I have a quick post unboxing that I want to share with you guys from Planet Desert. If you're interested in seeing what I got, keep watching. Okay guys, this package arrived yesterday and I went ahead and opened it because it's really, really hot and I wanted them to get air. So I'm just, this is why I'm calling this a post unboxing. So before I continue, if it's your first time here, I'm glad you found me. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I've ordered from Planet Desert before. This is not the first time, but they did include a nice little card in here. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So let's get right in. I wanted to share what I have. So I have two, four, that's five, seven plants that I got. And the first one here is a codex plant. And it is, I'll show you the name here. It's Kedrotis Africana. So Tori's filming me today, guys. So drop a comment down below to tell Tori hello. Um, and thank you, Tori, for filming. And my grand dog, Gia, is over there to the right. But here's the little baby codex. And as you can see, it's a vining plant. So you can see the vines here. So that's going to be really, really nice. So uh, Ketrotis Africana. All right. The next one here is very interesting. It's in the family of the Senigua or Senigia. Bolada. So I'll show you the name. I have one of these, a different type that I love. It's the one with the fuzzy leaves that I just adore. So these get a little codex as well. And this one, it's very small, but look at the leaves. Isn't that gorgeous? And the pattern is just beautiful. And it's fuzzy under the bottom. Can you guys see that? How gorgeous is that? I really love this plant, so I'm excited to get this one as well. So that's the second one. And then two of the same, and these were on my wish list a few years ago. If you watch one of my very old videos, it's about, it's my, like my cactus and succulent wish list video. And I think it's like 50 something numbered. But this is a Ceta Multicept. I've had it one other time, but I had a very small specimen and it didn't make it. So they had these, so I got two and I'm gonna put them together. And if you look closely, this one has little tiny blooms. Let's see, Tori, can you get in closer? See the little bloom here? How gorgeous is that? Isn't that perfect? So these look really good. I'm gonna stage it really well with some rocks. Um, but this is sedum multicept, gorgeous, gorgeous sedum. And I have a video that I did, maybe the last one or the one before, about sedums. So yay! So I got two of those. And then this one, I'm not gonna even bother to try to pronounce this, but the common name is Texas Ebony. All right, and it's got a tiny codex that you may not see. So here's the name, but the common name is Texas Ebony. It's a caduciform as well. All right. And then this one I'm just in love with because I love Dudleyas. So this is a Dudleya White Spirit. Yeah, it's G-N-O-M-A, so Guom. Dudley of Guam, White Spirit. There's the name. Can you see that? And then just look at how that's clustered. Isn't that gorgeous? Tori, you like that? Mm -hmm. Tori likes it, guys. So that means it's a winner. But I have one other Dudley in my collection. I love Dudleyas. So this is super cute. I love the blue-green look, the kind of the, you know, it has that bluish for sun protection. So you can't really touch Dudleyas too much because once you remove that, you touch it, your fingerprints, um, it never comes back. And that's how they protect themselves from the sun. So 
just as a reminder, any plant that has that bluish green, whitish, that looks like a film over it, you wanna try to keep your hands off of it because touching it removes that and it doesn't come back. So yeah, that's a cute little Dudleya that I'm in love with. And then the last plant here is the Ipomea plantinensis. So Tori, get a name, you got that name? Ipomea. Mm -hmm. All right, and this one has a codex too, but it's buried down in here, so you can't really see it. But look at the leaves. How gorgeous is that? I love it. So yeah, these are my seven plants from Planet Desert. Um, they did have a Memorial Day sale, so I got 10% off. Um, so I highly recommend you know, checking out their website. Again, I've ordered from them probably three or four times. And I have been pleased with the packaging and how plants arrive and the condition and everything like that. So I highly do recommend Planet Desert. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the video out. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick post unboxing and you know, you like my new plants, drop a comment down below and let me know if you have any of these and which ones are your favorite. I'd love to know. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.